Hey, it's Rob with Inyo Pools. Today we're going to show you how to replace a motor on a Polaris booster pump. Uh, first thing you want to do is go ahead and turn off the power at the breaker. Okay, so we're going to loosen and remove these fittings that are that are going into the uh, in and out of the volute. Uh, these are dry rods, so we're actually going to put new ones on here. Uh, but you're going to want to remove these first. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and remove this bonding wire. This is pretty corroded, so we're just going to cut it and we'll strip away when we need to reattach it. Um, next thing, we're going to open up this panel so we can get to the, the other three wires here. We have a quarter inch socket. Alright, so we're going to remove these three wires, the, the ground line coming in and then the two hot wires, which are this red one and this black one. I'm going to loosen up this conduit adapter. And then pull the three wires out. Now you can move the pump to a location that's easier to work on. Okay, we're going to go ahead and remove these six bolts using a half inch socket. Alright, we've got six bolts off, so now we're going to pop the volute off the front. And uh, the next thing we're going to have to do is remove this impeller. And we'll have to uh, start by accessing the back so we can stabilize the impeller. So you want to remove this cap. If it's real on there hard, you can use a pair of channel locks to remove that. Okay, so you're going to stabilize the shaft. You can use a half inch wrench, or if you have like a large flathead, you could slip it in there. But you want to hold it still. And on the other side, you're going to want to unscrew this impeller, lefty loosey. All right, next we're going to remove these four bolts that hold the bracket onto the motor. And we're using a 9 16th socket. All right, now you can pull the, the bracket away from the motor. All right, so we're just going to unthread this so we can use it on the new motor. Okay, you got to remove uh, this, the bracket from the base uh, so you can remove the old shaft seal and put in the new one. So there's these little tabs on the inside that you just kind of press forward and kind of maneuver the bracket out of there. All right, so we're going to remove the uh, old spring portion from the impeller. And then you want to want to pop the... Uh, the ceramic seal out of the bracket. You can do that from the back. Just punch it out there. That's ready for the new seal. All right, so we're going to install the shaft seal next. Uh, it's a two-part shaft seal. You're going to put the white ceramic in this bracket and the spring portion on the impeller. Um, first, we'll do the, the white ceramic one with the rubber around it. You'll just put it in here. 
and then you want to press it in with like a clean uh, rag. You don't want to get your fingerprints all over it. Okay, so that's in there. Nice and flush. And then the spring portion, you'll want the, uh, the smooth side. There's a, a side with metal and rubber on it. You, um, that's going to go against the impeller, and the smooth side is going to be touching that white ceramic when you put everything together. Okay. All right, so we're going to put the, the uh, bracket here back on the base. All right, and then we're going we're gonna to put the new B625 motor in place. Slide it through the bracket there. Okay, now we're going to secure the bracket back to the motor using these the four bolts we took off earlier. All right, so before we put the impeller back on, you're going to want to remove this cap on the back. That way you can stabilize it. Again, as we did before, you can use a half, half inch wrench to hold it while you put the impeller on. All right, you just tighten it up. You don't need to over tighten it, just enough to when it starts moving the wrench in the back. Next, you're gonna put the O-ring on the bracket around here before you put the volute back over. So just get some silicone or Teflon lubricant and usually about a pea size drop is enough and just enough to make it shiny. All right, we're gonna put the volute back over the bracket, line it up with the holes. All right, so we're gonna remove this old fitting. We got new ones that we can put on. Again, these were leaking, so that's why we're replacing them. All right, before we put these back into the volute, we're gonna go ahead and wrap them with some Teflon tape. Okay, at this point, we can take it over back to the equipment pad and, and wire it up. Okay, so this uh, B625 uh, Polaris booster pump motor is dual voltage. It comes from the factory set on 230, and that's what we're wiring it up for. Bas uh, basically, we'll, we'll feed the three wires in through here. The green will go to this ground screw. Um, the two hot wires, one will go to uh, the number one terminal, which is up here with this black and yellow wire. And then the other hot wire will go down to uh, terminal six, and uh, it doesn't matter which one goes to which as long as one of the hot wires goes to each. And uh, there is a, a wiring diagram on the side of the motor if you're going to wire it for one, 115, you have to change a couple of the internal uh, wires. Um, but let's go ahead and get this wired up now. All right, as you can see, you got the green ground line going to the green screw. You got one of the hot lines going to terminal one and the other one uh, down here on terminal six. Now we'll put the cover back on and Move the pump into place. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect the bonding wire to the bonding lug here. And put the hoses back on. Tighten the nut down. Should 
be good. All right, so we got the new booster pump motor installed. We've got the pipes connected and ready to go. At this point, you just wanna make sure the system's primed and then you can turn on uh, the pool pump and the booster pump and it should be ready to go. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or visit us over at inyopools.com. Uh, thanks for watching.